Hello, this video is on Datalink's Warehouse Manager 200 Purchase Order Receipts. I'm currently in the Sage Purchase Order screen. I have then put my delivery dates in and added a blender with no traceability and paint with batch and expiry date traceability set up. I'm saving this order, which will update the handheld barcode scanner for the warehouse to receipt. I have logged into the handheld and into the warehouse location. As we are receiving the purchase order, this is the option you select. It will now pull up a list of all outstanding purchase orders. These are sorted by due date and the highest priority is set to the top of the list. Some of the orders, as you'll see, are highlighted in yellow, which shows they have been part receipted. I am selecting purchase order 449, which is the order we raised within Sage. Showing the items to be receipted are the blender and paint. This screen shows how many are remaining to be receipted, how many have previously been receipted, and the current stock level available. When I select an item, there is a one-step put-away process set up. So confirm the bin location for the item, then scan the item to ensure that the correct item is chosen, followed by inputting the GRN details. This is the supplier GRN number, normally found on the supplier paperwork, but for this, I'm using my initials. Then confirm the quantity we have, and if you need to produce labels, enter the number required at this point. Click the receipt button, which will update Sage, showing the items have been receipted into the warehouse. It will then return you to the purchase order screen to receipt the rest of the order. So this shows it is completed in Sage, and only the paint is outstanding on the list. Select the paint, followed by the put away location. Scan the product code, enter the quantity, which will now require the batch and serial numbers. If these are barcoded, they can be scanned or typed in using the handheld keyboard. Labels can also now be produced and they will contain all the details, including the product code, batch and serial number. Click the receipt button, which will update Sage, and you can see these have been receipted and confirm there is nothing outstanding on the purchase order and return you to the list of outstanding purchase orders. As you can see in Sage Purchase Order 449, we have all the details I entered for the blenders and the paint. So if I open the inquiry screen and select Purchase Order 449, you can see if you select the paint and the delivery tab and view the Sage generated GRN, supplier GRN and delivery date. The handheld user who receipted the order and by selecting the batch tab we can view the batch, expiry date and bin location. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like to register for a demonstration, please contact Datalink.